Historians estimate that between 1500 and 1870, more than 11 million men and women were carried across the Atlantic Ocean in ships like these. The passengers were forcibly transported from Africa to the West Indies, Brazil, or other lands of the Americas. These people were enslaved Africans, and their lives on board the slave ships were filled with pain, suffering, and death. In the 1500s, Europeans saw enslaved Africans as a source of inexpensive labor for their colonies. European planters established plantations, or huge farms, in North America, South America, and the Caribbean. As the plantations grew, more slaves were needed to work on them. Slavery had existed in Africa since ancient times. Some African kings and merchants captured people and sold them as slaves to European traders, as well as to Arab merchants. When the demand grew, kings often sent their warriors to attack neighboring villages for slaves. The Europeans treated slaves like cargo. They were locked inside cells for weeks until ships could take them to colonies across the ocean. For slaves, life on a slave ship during the Middle Passage was a nightmare. Even crew members were shocked by the conditions in the slave holds. When I had to enter the slave deck, I was forced to crawl over the slaves. The Negroes are frequently packed so close together that they have not so much room as a man in his coffin. I was so overcome with the heat, dense and foul air, that I nearly fainted. It was only with assistance I could get on deck. Alexander Falconbridge. Although the transatlantic slave trade, the bringing of slaves from Africa to the Americas, was abolished by U.S. law in 1804, some traders chose to ignore the law. They continued to capture Africans and transport them across the Atlantic. On June 28, 1839, the Amistad set sail from Havana, Cuba, bound for the Cuban coastal town of Puerto Principe. On board, Captain Ramon Ferrer carried a cargo of 53 African slaves, purchased in Havana. An African on board the Amistad, named Seneba Pie, fought the men who tried to enslave him and other Africans. One dark night, Seneba Pie, called Cinque by his captors, unlocked his shackles using pieces of metal he'd found on the ship. Working quickly, he freed the rest of the slaves, and they prepared to attack their captors. The Africans took over the Amistad, the cabin steward translated the Africans' demand, sail the ship back to Africa or the crew would be killed. Instead of sailing for Africa, the currents of the Gulf Stream pulled the Amistad north. In the summer of 1839, American newspapers along the eastern seaboard reported wild stories of a ship manned by black pirates. An American ship called the Washington found the Amistad and captured it. The ship, including the Africans, was taken into custody. The Spanish government, which had colonized Cuba, demanded that President Martin Van Buren send the Africans to Cuba, where they would remain slaves. But former President John Quincy Adams thought that the slaves should remain free. He argued that since they had been taken from Africa illegally, they were not then legally slaves. For more than a year, Adams fought for the Africans' release. On March 9, 1841, the Supreme Court of the United States announced its decision. It is the ultimate right of all human beings in extreme cases to resist oppression. 
and to apply force against ruinous injustice. Seneva P.A. and the other captives were freed. The United States Supreme Court had recognized these Africans as free human beings. Although the Atlantic slave trade came to an end in the 1800s, the damage had been done. African societies were disrupted by depopulation and warfare. Some two million people had died on slave ships, and millions more had been forced to endure a life of slavery. Europeans first brought African slaves to the Americas to work, A, as indentured servants, B, on plantations, C, as merchant seamen, D, for low wages. What decision did the Supreme Court make in the case of the captives on board the Amistad? A, the court recognized the captives as free human beings. B. The court sent the captives back to Cuba. C. The court ended the slave trade. D. The court sentenced the captives to a prison term for mutiny. What were the causes and effects of the Atlantic slave trade? 